guys, welcome back to the channel Dada F Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, as the title says above, is going to be part one of my sort of January book haul, if you will. These are going to be all the non-fiction books that I have because I have quite a few fiction novels that I'm going to be doing. Um, so I will have a Christian fiction book haul coming right after this video. Um, a lot of you guys know what is already going on in my family, but um, my grandmother recently passed and it's been hard. Um, but I did just want to at least have two videos done for next week. Um, so yeah, I'm recording this. It is February 2nd, Saturday. Um, it's literally 4.47 in the morning. I woke up at 1. I just, I can't sleep. So I decided to record this video for you guys. And I have quite a few things in front of me alone. Not including the fiction books that I have to share with you guys. So bear with me. Um, so I think I'm going to start off with pens. Because you guys know if you follow my uh, Facebook group, Daughter of Increase, that I recently went on a retreat with my church. It was a ministerial development retreat. And before we left for the retreat, for the retreat my mom and i went to a christian bookstore in queens i think it is um it's new life christian bookstore it's located in queens they only have two locations one in queens new york and then one in providence rhode island and it, it's like a barnes and nobles but with strictly like christian related faith-based items so amazing um it's also kind of like a michael's and a uh what's the other art craft you know the arts craft art craft store I'm talking about I can't remember but um it's kind of Hobby Lobby so it's kind of like a Barnes and Nobles Hobby Lobby and Michaels in one but um everything in there has to do with you know God and Christ and stuff like that so I finally ran across the micron pins that I've been looking for so you guys know I use the black pigma micron 01 and I've been saying that I wanted to try out the blue ink because um I just don't like black on black text like if I'm taking notes in black I prefer the notes to be in blue to pop more so I found some and I'm so excited so I did end up actually getting three other colors um, I did get a yellow a green and a brown but I gave those to my mother but I kept these so I have and I think these are all zero ones yeah these are all 0.25 millimeters so I got an orange a purple a red obviously the blue because I needed the blue and then pink so now I have these to add to my little collection and I wanted to try them out because I've heard people complain about ordering them off of um, Amazon and Hobby Lobby wants a little bit too much money I think I picked them up for like $1.99 at the Christian bookstore so I got the bats and then I got some more crown pins because it's hard finding these on um, Amazon and I don't really want to order them off of eBay because I want them like immediately but I saw these and um, they just have cute little phrases they're pink bodies with pink hearts this one says a friend loves at all times and they're the the crown pins um not sure the point on this I don't I, I wouldn't be able to tell you guys but I love crown pins they're really cute and then this one says blessed is she who believes so I have two of those I don't even know what ink it is yeah I don't know it looks like black ink don't know saw them cute um moving on to ooh, what do I want to do next um our daily bread because you guys know I always have something from our daily bread so first things first is their 2019 uh weekly monthly planner I had one of these from last year and use it a bit and then toss it because I didn't know what to use it for this year I'm using it to keep track of um, my reading so I haven't like I don't know not like all of my reading but when I'm doing like my Christian novels um, and Christian nonfiction books I like to keep track of like what chapters I read what I thought so that's what I've been doing with it um, I need to actually go back a couple days but um, yeah that's what I've been doing and it's just really a basic planner um, there's your weekly layout and then here's your monthly layout. I mean, it's pretty basic, but um, it's really cute. Last year's design had poppies on it. This one has um, butterflies. Super cute. So I have that. And I just keep that over here where I keep all my other books at. Um, then I have some audio stuff. So you guys know I've got a lot of their like, Christmas stuff for the kids. So they have more stuff on the site because um, I think they're like 
adding new products so their website if you go on it now i'm not sure if there's still stuff up but um a lot of their stuff is basically you don't have to pay anything for it so i went a little crazy um i did pick up the hark celtic christmas celebration instrumental my cd is actually cracked oh that sucks it's cracked on the back but um i have that you guys know I like instrumentals when I'm studying. Um, I have How Great Thou Art, a acapella hymns. Give that. And then there is a Redeemer instrumental celebration of Christmas. I mean, sorry, of Easter. With Easter obviously coming up soon. So I have those. I don't even know where to put all this. Okay. So moving on to children's stuff i guess so i shared this with you guys last month and um it was the family devotional by sarah and wells so i did haul this last month and i do have a second one i'm gonna be doing a giveaway soon but um i did get this obviously last month so to go with that i ended up picking up this one which was supposed to come in december but it didn't come until january so it's praying the prayers of the bible for kids by james bank with cindy candy cindy kenny and sam Car Carla? I don't know how to pronounce that <laughs> but um yeah it's just prayers and I thought it was super cute um the artwork reminds me oh my god what is the name of that book it's a poetry book by S Sylvia <sighs> it's a really popular like old school 90s kind of poetry book and I can't remember it I'm gonna try to find a picture and insert the picture here but that's what the artwork reminds me of from that book um just a little bit and um, they're literally just prayers based off the of scripture, which I thought was awesome. Um, they are in the NLT translation, though, so that's great. So I got that. Um, then I got some puzzles for my son. So we have Noah's Ark, which he loves. He's already done this. And I also have the first Christmas. Sorry about the sound. <laughs> um, and then I got him this coloring book as well, which he has already started coloring in. Um, and it's really cute. It just basically goes to the story, I think, of Christmas. Yeah, it goes to the story of Christmas. It has activities. Oh, he's done other pictures in here, too. But, um, yeah, he started that one. So it literally is a, it's a storybook coloring book, if that makes sense. Um, and he loves stuff like that. There are activities for the kids to do as well. But, um, yeah. Okay, so moving on to some more stuff from Our Daily Bread. Um, I have Land Without Borders. I do have the DVD over there i'm not going to get it but they had the book up there and i decided to snag the book so i got the book for that and um it's just um how god guides you through the wilderness and this is something that i really really wanted to focus on i really want to study um the whole idea of wilderness uh i just i don't know i feel like that's where i'm headed into like this wilderness and i'm you know it's hard to explain but yeah i have that book and i'm really excited it's a really thin book not too long um how many pages is this yeah, the video study guide is in here as well, which is awesome. So it's less than 150 pages, so yeah. Living the Psalms Life by Dave Brennan. Ten guiding principles for fa I'm sorry. Ten guiding principles for fellowship with God. Um, I do like Dave Brennan. I do have a lot of his like mini devotionals and stuff from our daily bread. So yeah. It just says transform the way you experience life with wisdom from the psalmist in living the psalms life you'll find 10 principles to renew intimate fellowship with the creator through scripture and personal stories learn what it means to be content in every situation secure in peace i'm sorry secure in the peace of god and guided by his will for your life so yeah this is amazing and anything to do with the psalms i'm all for so um before i forget i did get a new coffee i got a coffee mug and a tumbler so so i had ordered five of these <laughs> previously um i think i actually had six i gave one to my mom one to my brother one to my brother's girlfriend and then i had two for myself so yeah five um and then i bought a backup because i really this tumbler it keeps things cold it keeps things hot i can heat my coffee up like make my coffee at home on sunday say like eight o'clock in the morning and my coffee's still hot at like 1 p.m like legit hot like this this tumbler is amazing so i needed to get it back up i ended up giving one of my one of the ones that i have to my mom so now i'm back down to two but this is amazing if you guys can snag it they do have it on their regular discovery house website um, i'm not sure how much it is it's probably like seven to fifteen dollars i can't really remember but um check them out because this thing is amazing if you have cold drinks it keeps it cold if you have hot it keeps it hot for hours hours guys hours so i i love the thing then i also 
have been wanting their little ceramic coffee cup for like so long and they finally had it on the site um at a you know just random donation price because some of their products they do have for like a specified price um and some aren't and for the longest i can't remember how much this was but um i didn't have it in the budget to get and they finally had it on the website for um just a regular donation fee and i donated for it because it's so cute it's black blue on the inside and it it's amazing I do have coffee in here. Um, Dunkin' Donuts regular coffee with um, International Delights sweet cream from their um, Cold Stone creamer. So good. So delicious. Putting that to the side. Okay. Then we have this book, which is Let Not Your Heart Be Troubled. It is a, I'm going to say a devotional. It's a 40-day devotional, um, 40 daily meditations on Jesus and prayer something i need to focus on i really have a lot of things focused on prayer because i really want to work on my prayer life for myself and also interceding for people um i don't know the lord has been pulling me into deepening my prayer life and i try and get sidetracked so i'm working on my prayer life and i thought this would be a great one it's broken up into days and um you know they have the scriptures already in here they have prayers throughout from the actual bible um, it just, I don't know, it just seems like it's going to be something good. And because, obviously, Jesus was in the wilderness 40 days and 40 nights, I'm going to be doing a 40-day, um, kind of prayer study, and I'm not going to start till March. So I may record myself doing a few videos on that. I may record myself doing a few days of that. Um, because I really just, I really want to focus on prayer. I, I feel like I need to. So I have this book. Also from, it's our Daily Bread Discovery Series. They're all the same kind of branch so i have more of those little booklets honestly i don't even know if, if i own these already just because i have so many um but i did get the one on the book of acts the call of wisdom which is insight from the book of proverbs this one is called after the hurricane a biblical response to calamities and then this one is on mary and joseph and I think I own those already, but I couldn't remember, so I ordered them anyway. Um, I have videos coming on these, because a lot of you guys have asked me quite a lot about these little booklets, and um, I do enjoy them a lot. I haven't really gotten into them as I wanted to, but um, I will do a full, like, collection of the ones I own. And if I do have any, like, doubles or spares, I tend to like to give those away, because I feel like these are really useful as, like, mini miniature Bible studies. They're really good. Where can I put that? Okay. Um, and then lastly, from Our Daily Bread, I did get their new devotional collection. I have their old one. It's like way back there. It's a brown one. Um, but I picked up two of the new ones. So I have this one, which is for me. I'm going to keep for myself. And it's just really pretty and purple and just curly. And I love it. And yes, it's just a yearly devotional. It's nothing over the top. It's set up how they do their um, quarterly devotionals. So I have that. But then I also picked up this one. Um, this one, I believe, is either the Iris... I think this is called iris the color i can't remember but it's kind of yeah it's called iris purple okay so i have the iris purple edition which is really really cute and girly i really like it and then i picked up this one which is the walnuts and navy yeah navy walnut edition it's the same essentially the same um devotional just a different kind of leather cover um, so I have this one for a giveaway. I'm not sure if it's going to be for a men's giveaway or just a giveaway in general. I'm not sure. But um, this one has silver gilded edges. This one has gold gilded edges. Both are cute. Both are stunning. The one item that I paid, like, actual price for this month, this past month, was um, this. Now, I have worked with um, Hendrickson's Bible before. You guys recently saw the Bible review as well as the studies. They also have another kind of division called Rose Publishing. And um, I also work with them, and I did request uh, volumes two and three. They sent the PDF to me, and um, though I have the PDFs, I really want to get physical copies of the other two volumes because this is amazing. But I paid for this myself at Walmart. Walmart had it for twenty two ninety nine. Um, you can get it for twenty one dollars, I think, on Amazon. But um, me picking it up at Walmart, I believe they had fifteen percent off or five percent off or something like that um, with their books. So I only paid like eighteen bucks for it. And, um, this is so amazing. I'm going to do a separate video on this because it's so good. But, um, it's basically, it has Bible charts, timelines, maps. Um, it just, 
I'm going to try to show you guys as best as I can before I do a full-blown video. But, like, I still have the cardboard and stuff in here. But, um, let me just go through some of the topics in here. So, there's a timeline that you have at the beginning. Um, but it goes through, um, 100 key people in the Bible, 100 prayers in the Bible, the names of God, the names of Christ, um, 100 proofs for the Bible that are archaeological. For the Old Testament, it goes through 100 Old Testament events. Um, it focuses on creation, the Noah's Ark, the 12 tribes of Israel, the Exodus, the Tabernacle, the Ark of the Covenant, the Ten Commandments, the Judges, um, the Feast of the Bible, Solomon's Temple, Psalm 23, and the Statues in the Book of Daniel. For New Testament, it goes to the de genealogy of Jesus, which is like a complete fold-out. Um, you have 100 prophecies fulfilled by Jesus, which I think is amazing. Like, it goes through 100 prophecies. <laughs> amazing. Um, it goes through the miracles and the parables of Jesus, the Beatitudes, the Twelve Disciples, um, the Lord's Prayer, obviously, Herod's Temple, um, uh, it just, Psalm Sunday to Easter, the Armor of God, it talks about the love chapter, which is obviously 1 Corinthians 13, um, the seven churches of Revelations, the heroes of faith from Hebrews 11, then you have your maps, which I really love the maps, because they do the then, like, what, Israel and stuff was like then compared to what it is like today so you have the Middle East and Central Asia you have the Holy Lands um, the United Kingdom the divided kingdom Assyrian Empire the Babylonian and Persian empires um, the Middle East where Jesus walked then and what it would be like now Paul's journeys then and now um, the world of the first Christians then and now and I really like looking at the maps when I'm reading biblical fiction because they normally talk about different places like in Ber Persia and Babylon um, and I like to look at the maps to really figure it all out. Um, there's a section called Christianity, Cults, and Religions. So it really dives into Islam and Christianity, the different cults, um, Wiccans, and all. Like, it really dives into that. And I just, it's so good. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this. I mean, the illustrations in here are really nice. Like, it's a really, really amazing book. Um, I'm trying to see. Here we go. Here's a tabernacle. So it gives you like an image of the tabernacle and it talks about all the different parts of the tabernacle, exactly what it was. Again, I'm going to have a full-blown video coming because um, I do have the PDF of Volumes 2 and 3. Um, and they're pretty much like this, but they include different things. They focus on different things. And I was so happy that Walmart had this book. And this is a book that I really wanted for a long time. Um, so I'm glad that I have a physical copy of the first one and have the PDF of volumes 2 and 3, but I am going to work on getting physical copies of volumes 2 and 3 because I feel like those are essential and they're really great, um, whether you're just doing personal Bible study, Sunday school, whatever, like, amazing. So I have that. Moving, so we have different categories. So I have some stuff that I got from, um, oh, I think it's Harper One is the company. Yeah, Harper One. I actually... Reach out, reached out to them personally. Um, I found the information. I literally was like on Harper's publishing website looking up the information for the contact because I really wanted to request some books. Um, and I just, when I request books personally that are outside of like blogger programs, I, you know, I craft an email so that they know who I am. Um, they know that I work in my church, that they know that I run, um, I don't want to say a ministry, but ministry which is thought of increase that i have a blog and a youtube channel like i really explain things to them i give them my stats and tell them that i'm interested in reviewing books because either um they're books that i really wanted to review for a long time or because a lot of people request me to do that and um a lot of people have been asking me about c.s lewis um literally on like instagram and stuff and i reached out to the company and told them that i really wanted to request um they have the c.s lewis box set which is like the signature collection they didn't have the box set but they did have um the bind up so they did send me the bind up of his signature classics which has mere christianity the screw tape letters miracles the great divorce the problem of pain a grief a grief observed um the abolition of man and the four loves now i do own them obviously on ebook we know I'm an ebook nerd, but um, I wanted the physical copies, especially because the covers for the signature collection um, is really gorgeous. They didn't have the box set; they did have the bind up. So she sent me the bind up. So I have that. Um, so it has all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those books. So the box set has the eight books individually, um, but then this is, like I said, the bind up of all the books. So I'm excited to get into this. I've, I've heard so many great things about Mere Christianity and the Screw Tape Letters. Um, I really do want to read uh, The Four Loves because I've heard some things about that too. And C.S. Lewis is just one of those um, 
well-known people within the Christian community that uh, I really want to read more about outside of A.W. Tozer, of course. But um, they did send this to me, so I'm excited to really be diving into this soon, like really soon. So a review will be coming on each of the individual books. I am still working on getting the actual box set personally, just because I like the covers um, of the indiv individual books. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm so... Oh, here are the covers. So, like, the covers are so gorgeous. But these are the eight books within there. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. But they sent me this for review. And then on top of that, um, they're publishing reflections and essays from C.S. Lewis that were never published before into a trilogy. So they sent me the first two books, and they'll be sending me the third book when it comes out, which I was so excited about. Like, I wasn't expecting it, honestly, you guys. When I get emails um, from publishing companies, it shocks me just because I'm like, wow, God, like you're really working this out for this to be able to work. And as a book nerd, <laughs> that is amazing. But um, the first one is How to Pray, which I thought was so funny because like I told you guys earlier, um, I'm working on prayer for myself. So it's called How to Pray. It's Reflections and Essays by C.S. Lewis. Um, these are just articles and stuff that he had that were never released and they're releasing it into just miniature books and they're so cute. So this one is blue. Um, it's like really cute and obviously it focuses focuses on prayer so we have that one and then the other one is how to be a Christian reflections and essays and it talks about you know being a Christian burgundy and I think the last one is going to be green I don't even know where the picture is to talk about that book um, but there is a third one coming out oh my gosh Let me see if it's mentioned in this book. I can't even... It's not. I'm going to find um, either the title and insert the title here. Or if I can find the book cover, if they have it already. I don't think it's coming out till June or July of this year. But they'll be sending me that as well. And I'm definitely excited to be reading How to Pray. Because, like I said, prayer. So I did get these personally because I actually sent an email and requested it. Um, a lot of you guys asked me how I do that. I'm going to still be working on those videos of how to create a blog and how to draft up things like that but again when i send these emails to people um to these publishing companies and these authors i do input all of my stats for like the youtube channel the facebook group um the facebook page instagram and i basically tell them what the purpose of daughter up increase is as well as a little bit about myself because um they do send these items to me for free and i mean this is retailed at how much this is retail for $23. So they're sending me books that are like $23, $24. I don't even know how much this book is. This book is $40. So they're sending me these books for free. Um, free of charge. I'm not paying shipping or anything like that. And all they expect of me to do is obviously read the products. Obviously do reviews and help promote the products. And I think a lot of people don't realize that that's what it's like to um, be a book reviewer you are required to read and review these books and i'm not going to say that i'm able to you know read and review them all quickly which is why a lot of the times i um breeze through books really quick just to get a basic review out and then i go back to reread it at a more slower pace and then update my review months down the line i think i did that with um a few books on my blog so you know random but i got this three. um moving on to moody publisher um i didn't get a lot this month i really only got um two items and that was isaiah it's a commentary it's part of their everyday bible commentary series i will have all of them i have the one on romans already i hauled that months ago i can't remember when um i have the one on isaiah i just requested one i think on revelation <laughs> they have a few they have a lot of new ones coming out this year as well so i do have those on like ebook um i own all of their commentaries on ebook but I prefer physical ones. This for me, I did um, look through it. I gave it four stars just because I wasn't expecting it to be this thin. Isaiah is 66 chapters long. Like, I was expecting it to be a little bit thicker. But I think this is a really good commentary for those um, people who are like are on the go or who want like a basic overview of the book of Isaiah. Because it really does help a lot. So I will be doing reviews on the series of their commentaries once I have the ones that are already published. And then I'll talk about the other ones that are coming up. But I have this. And then I have their newest Bible study, which is If God is for Us, The Everlasting Truth of Our Great Salvation, which is a study of Romans chapter 8. This is by Trillia Newbell. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, and the Bible studies that I get from Moody Publishers, um, they're more of a devotional style Bible study. So 
you get five days in a week to focus on something. And I think the first week of this year, focusing on chapters uh, Romans 1 through 7, and then from the second week on, you're breaking down Romans 8, which I think is essential and really good. So I actually did get a second one, which I was doing a review for. So I do have one for myself, obviously. So we have two here, so you guys can see. But I do have a second one, and I also have samples of all the other Bible studies that they own. Um, I'm going to have a uh, giveaways coming really soon. I really just want to be able to give back to you guys and help you guys um, grow spiritually and in, in your faith walk and in your studies. So um, I have Who Do You Say That I Am? That's by, I don't even, uh, this is by Becky Harlan. <laughs> Sorry. So Who Do You Say That I Am? by Becky Harlan. Um, it's a fresh encounter for deeper faith. I Am Found by Laura Dingman. It is Quitting the Game of Hide and Seek with God and Others. This one by Kim Erickson, it's a seven-week study that focuses on John 13 to 17, which are basically the last words, and it's called His Last Words, so what Jesus taught and prayed in his final hours. An Unexplainable Life, which focuses on Acts 1 through 12 by Erica Wiggenhorn. This is Rediscovering the Wonder and Devotion of the Early Church, and then part two of that study, which um, goes from Acts 13 to 28. This is The Unexplainable Church, which is Reigniting the Mission of the Early Believers by Erica Wiggenhorn. And a lot of these do now have DVDs. I don't own DVDs, obviously, but um, DVD studies are available if you want them. Um, I do have a sample of If God is For Us, obviously. Then I have Included in Christ, which is uh, a study of Ephesians by Heather Holman. Holman? Holman? You see that name, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this one is a study of Colossians and is he is enough living in the fullness of Jesus I can never pronounce this woman's name oh, but she is amazing amazing I have a few of her things um, and then this one is this I know also by Laura, Laura Dingman trusting your unknown future to a known God so um, I will have a giveaway coming soon I'm working on a bunch of giveaways I have a giveaway specifically for a mom with um, kids because I have a lot of the stuff that I've gotten from my son. I bought doubles. So, yeah. Giveaways are coming. Don't worry. 2019, I'm giving away things, okay? <laughs> um, let's make some space, because I ain't got no space here. Sorry this video is so long, guys. Where do I even go from here? Okay, let's do Book Look. So, I have signed up for Book Look Bloggers. Um, and Book Look Bloggers is basically the blogger program for both Tyndall, not Tyndall, oh my god, for Thomas Nelson and Zondervan, which are, if I'm not mistaken, a part of HarperCollins. Um, it's like a branch of HarperCollins. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out which items are which. Okay, so I have two things from Zondervan and two from Thomas Nelson. I love Thomas Nelson, if you guys don't know. I'm just a fan of the Bible. So the first thing I got was actually from my son. I actually let him pick out a book um, this month because there wasn't anything up there that I really wanted. So this one is You're My Little Sweet Pea, illustrated by Kit Chase. Kit Chase. And, um, yeah, it's just a little cute storybook. It's, I really like the artwork in it. It's stunning. So he picked this out. I'm not really sure what it's about, honestly. So let's read the back. It says, Little Sweet Pea, I love you from bottom... From button nose to baby cool, squishy cheeks and sparkly eyes, pure delight and perfect size. Um, so it's just about children knowing how special and love they are. Okay, so yeah, my son picked this out. It was three books, um, three children's books, and I let him look through each of the pictures. I talked to him about the pitch, um, talked to him about the books, and he chose this one. And it is so cute and adorable. So we have that one. And then also from Zondervan, um, I got this devotional. I'm not gonna lie, I got it because it was pretty. And you'll see why in a minute. I mean, first of all, we're in the month of February. Isn't she cute? So a lot of these things sometimes I get because they're like cover cover requests because they're pretty, but the content inside is really good if that makes sense. But um, this is 365 devotions to love God and love others well. Um, and I just, oh, it's a love devotional. February is a month of love makes sense and i feel like love is something that we need to continually learn to do um for me i find it hard to accept love yeah it just you, you guys have seen my testimony series i find it hard to accept love um sometimes a lot of the times honestly and um you know but uh, this cover she is pretty and simple like i love the simpleness of the it's not even white it's kind of like an off-white with the the pinks and the purples and the pop of gold the spine 
I'm not a spine not snob because a lot of people like prefer you know their spines to be a certain way. But this spine, guys, ugh, gorgeous. But it's just a devotional on um love, and the inside is really cute and girly. So we have that. Um, and the other two are devotionals as well. I love devotionals. Um, I've been asked how many devotionals I own. I don't know. This shelf right above my head is nothing but devotionals. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I have, like, devotionals, like, right behind. Let me see if I can show you guys. Like, right behind there are devotionals stacked up. <sighs> Keep in mind, I am requesting, like, five more devotionals. I love devotionals. I just... I don't know, but um, this one is by John Eldridge, and it's Restoration Year. It's pretty, um, and it's just about restoration, and I feel like we all need to be in that kind of mindset at times. Um, it just says, Re restoration is real, transformation is possible. Let this be your restoration year. I'm not going to read the whole back, obviously. When I do a book review, you'll hear it, but um, we have that. And then this one is from Will Graham, who is the grandson, if I'm not mistaken, of Billy Graham, who passed away. Um, and it's called Redeemed, Devotions for the Longing Soul. And I actually did enjoy this. Um, I read a few of them. I'm going to go back, obviously, and make markings. But this one actually includes photos of um, Billy Graham and Will Graham, who is his grandson. And I, I really like the way this is set up because there are questions, there are prayers, there are images, there are like little notes and quotes from Billy Graham. And, um... For me, it spoke to me, and it felt personal, so, um, we have that. So, moving on. We're almost done. This video is so long. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so, BH Bloggers, uh, it's called BH Books, um, the company, but they work with Lifeway because, um, when you work with B BH Bloggers, they send their books directly from Lifeway to you. So, they had five books, four books last month. I requested all four, um... One of them honestly has nothing to do with me, but I got it because I felt like it was essential to um, my library. And I do find that I enjoy teaching the Word of God. Shockingly, I really do enjoy it. And I want to expand more into teaching as I grow in my faith and um, elevate in the church. So, this one is by Ben Trueblood. <laughs> okay, that's funny because I used to love watching the movie, the, the TV show True Blood. If you guys know what that is. Um, but Ben Trueblood and Brian Mills. It's a different college experience. And it's called Following Christ in College. And obviously I'm not in college anymore. Um, I didn't complete. I still have a year left of school. But um, I feel like this was something I would have I would have wanted to read in my experience with college. I'm going to do a whole testimony on my college experience. Because my college experience was crazy. So it says, for many the college experience is defined by drinking, me, sex, me, Impulsive decision making, not so much, um, and a journey of self discovery. Um, and it just talks that it, it says you don't have to have that kind of college experience, and it's more so about you building your relationship with Christ. I really wish I had a book like this um, during my freshman year because I was really struggling. That was the time that my parents got divorced, and I was dealing with a lot of personal situations with um, a toxic, not a to toxic relationship, but it kind of was toxic. Um, it just. It was a lot going on and I wish I had this kind of book because um, college for me was just like free for all and um, I felt like this would be a good one to help me work through some s stuff mentally that I'm still dealing with from like my college experiences and also to be able to help other people um, that are in college. I know that when I transferred from one school to the next I was always able to in a sense minister um, to people through my freshman experience and um, I just feel like something like this would have been really helpful for me personally so i got it um then this one is called worship essentials by mike harlan growing a healthy worship ministry without starting a war and um this is something that i want to work on um i don't know worship i feel like it's something personal for each person and for me the way i worship at home is very different from how i worship in church because i'm not very open in church i'm not a very um open person if you will um, i'm very much more closed off you guys should probably know that by now um i know i may seem like i have it all together but now i'm very much a private person i'm very personal like even within my relationship with my fiance like i'm very closed off um and i want to be able to break out of that because i could shout cry scream in my room all day every day when my door is closed um but in church i feel like there's a blockage that um 
stops me from worshiping the way I really want to worship. And, you know, sometimes there has to be a push from my pastors or my bishop to um, really get me to that worship. But I know that there's a worship in me. Like, I know that for a fact. And I just, I don't know, I feel like this is a good book to read to help, if that makes sense. Um, it says, everybody talks about the worship, but nobody does anything about it. Um, the well-known quote associated with Mark Twain actually goes like this. Everybody talks about the weather, but changing weather to worship seems appropriate. The worship essential, um, the wor worship essentials Dove Award-winning worship leader Mike Harlan helps leaders do something about it. Um, yeah, and it just talks about worship. I think he talks about worship more so on a musical level, but even outside of the musical level, um, I think worship is just a central period um, in your walk. Um, then we have this, which is a devotional. It is If, What If? Quirky Questions and Daily Devotions to Feed Your Family and Your Faith by Tony Miles and Daniel, Mi Daniel Miles. Yeah. Um, and to me, it just seems like something that's like funny and quirky. So it's kind of like a 365 day devotional, if you will. Yeah, um, and, you know, there's questions, there's, like, if this questions and what if questions, and I think this is just something fun to do. Um, you could play, like, games with this, you could just use it for, like, when you're bored or something, I don't know. It's a devotional, it seemed really interesting, it just says, quirky questions, clever conversations, faith-built family. It's a u unique devotional that changes, um, the conversations we have within our families. So basically, you can use this at the dinner table with your family, with your kids, um, and just, you know, read the devotional, talk about it, discuss things, and I, it's a conversation starter, if you will. Conversational starting devotional, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, and then this one, which actually recently just came out, um, it's by Scarlett Hiltzabittle, I, I don't, I don't know, mm-hmm don't know but it's called afraid of all things tornadoes cancer adoption and other stuff you need the gospel for um so what does the scott what does the gospel say about your fears and it really just talks about that so this um apparently she grew up in the green room of snl um and she was born to a fire eater and adopted by a swat cop i don't really know much about her a lot of people have talked about her i don't know much I'm not even gonna lie, I haven't even started. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Okay, so I just got this book like a couple days ago. Like, it literally just came to me a couple days ago. And, like, look at this. So cute. I'm a. <sighs> Hi, my name is Nay. I'm a book nerd. I'm an avid book reader, book junkie, and um, I like pretty books. And I have a thing for pretty covers, and I also have a thing for pretty end pages. And, like, this looks like a note. It's on the back, too. It's so pretty. Um, but yeah, again, I don't really know much about it. I'm pretty sure it just talks about tackling fears. And that's something we all need to do. <laughs> so yeah, um, moving on, because I'm almost done, I'm to the last stack. The last stack. And um, this last stack, oops, I have, oh, let's see. So we talk about this company all the time because I have something from them every month. Um, this is from Baker Publishing Group, okay? I'm saying Baker Publishing Group because that is the over overall like umbrella, but they also have different divisions. So there's Bethany House, there's Chosen, there's Revel, there's Baker Books, um, and there's another one, Baker Academic or something like that. But I have books from like all of those minus Baker Academics. So from Bethany House, I did actually receive two other books from Bethany House. But those are fictional books. And those are going to be my fiction haul because I have well over 10 fiction books to share with you guys. So moving on. Um, the first one we have is Growing Forward When You Do- I'm sorry, Growing Forward When You Can't Go Back by Lori Pal Pollock. Lori Pollock? I think that's how you say that. Um, it's- She's the creator of She Bloom's blog, so I don't know who she is, um, but the cover is what got me, I'm not going to lie. Um, I also did get a NetGalley um, arc of this book. So NetGalley is a website where you can get free ebooks, um, literally just free ebooks. You can request free ebooks from different publishing companies. Um, so I did get an arc of this already, but when I saw that they had the physical one up for review and they sent me the email about it, I requested it. It's really pretty, I'm not going to lie. But um, it just says, learn how to thrive despite painful losses. And I think that's something essential. Um, considering everything that's going on this month, like this month has been insane. A lot of my relatives have been in and out of the hospital. Grandmother just passed away. Um, it, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. 
um, and then personally I'm struggling with some things um, on a personal level so this seemed like um, a good book to read that was essential for me personally within this time frame and it's a pretty cover I mean who doesn't like I'm a sucker for flowers do you see the cute little flower in the back like yeah I'm just gonna hold on the next book is from Rebel no Chosen <laughs> the next book is from Chosen and I actually have another one of her books as well and it's a book on prayer so stoked um but this one is called woman rise up by cindy jacobs it's a fierce generation taking its place in the world first of all gorgeous cover gorgeous i love just the ombre with the colors the orange the pinks the purples it's so me so bright so fun um it says step into the future god has planned for you i'm not gonna read any further than that that it's just talking about rising up as a woman of god pretty much um, and it, it's, first of all, the text is real tiny, so you know this is a serious book when your book is, like, really tall with tiny text. And the page number on this is, how many pages? 317 pages? You know this is a serious book. <laughs> this book could have been well over 500 pages if it was shorter with bigger fonts. Um, but I mean, this font is small, guys. Like, do you, this is gonna be a serious read moving on um i have two from rebel um so this one is called love where you live how to live scent in the place you call home by shauna pilgrim pil 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 pilgrim if i'm not mistaken um it says discover why you're exactly where you need to be something everybody needs to learn um because you know we're always like i want to be here i want to be there i want to move this i want to do that and sometimes god has you somewhere specifically for a specific purpose and um you know, it's always good to learn and understand that, so, got that one. Ten choices, ten, I'm sorry, <laughs> ten choices successful couples make the secret to love that lasts a lifetime by Dr. Ron Welch. Anything dealing with romance, um, relationships, marriage, and couples, I get because I am obviously in a relationship. I've been with my fiancé for six years, going on seven. Um, this year we'll be making seven. So, uh, you know, anything that can help me with um, having a God-filled relationship, God-filled love and romance, I get. Because I feel like it's essential to understand that God needs to be involved in my relationship. And when we first started off, I didn't understand that. Um, honestly, I didn't. But um, as the years go on and as I grow up and elevate in my faith, I'm learning that I need God more in my relationship than I've ever had him in any type of relationship I've ever had. So, yeah okay then the last are all from baker so these two i'll share together okay so we have this one which is winning the heart of your child nine keys to building a positive lifelong relationship with your kids by mike barry i am a mom of one hopefully i can perfectly have more kids in the future one or two but um i do have a four-year-old son who will be five. Oh my god he'll be five this month my baby about to be five guys oh my gosh but um you know any type of books that can help me um parenting in a godly manner why not you know it's the same kind of thing with the romance um i like books that are family centered with god based information in it so it seemed like a really good read and if it's not i can always just pass it all <laughs> Um, this one is Whispers and Wildflowers, 30 Days to Slow Your Pace, Save a Scripture, and Draw Closer to God by Sarah Beth Marr. First of all, the watercolor effects. Yes, ma'am. Um, and, for, and I, I just really love the subtitle, Slowing Your Pace, Savoring Scripture, and Drawing Closer to God. I found that in the past month, I have not been as focused as I normally am with my personal studies. Um, and that's been going on for a, a, a long time, <laughs> a very long time. Um. And I need to learn to slow myself down mentally and emotionally, just slow down and savor scripture because I even got to the point where I was just doing it because I had to check off what to do. Listen, I never want it to be like that. I love the word of God. Like I love studying the word of God. I love reading the word of God. I love, you know, taking it apart and really understanding it. I'm um, in the context that it was written and I found that sometimes I was just doing it because it was on my to-do list. It was on my schedule check it off i'm good um but this book really just focuses on slowing down and um you know something i need to do and i'm being as transparent as possible you guys know um the last two books are marriage based obviously so this one is called ready or not which i thought was funny it's by scott 
mm, Scott K, I'm not going to say his last name, but it's 12 conversations every couple needs to have before marriage. Here's his last name. Ms. Gore, ready or not? And I think that's awesome. Um, it says, what is the point of marriage? Are we looking to win or seeking to understand? How much does our faith really matter? What if you say tomato and I say tomato? Will we click coupons or max out credit cards? So it just talks about, you know, financial stewardship, um, constant companion, commu um, pursuing community as a couple, figuring out the future of your family, how to thrive with relationships with family and in-laws, um, finding fulfillment between the sheets, obviously, sex with marriage, um, how to be completely naked while fully clothed, and that's about emotional intimacy. So I just... It sounds so good. That's why I requested it. It really just goes deep and it focuses on things that I really want to learn. Um, and the final book that I have to share, yes, yes, final book, oh, um, is Marriage That Works by Chip Ingram. Chip Ingram, yeah. It's God's way of becoming spiritual soulmates, best friends, and passionate lovers. And who doesn't want that in their marriage? I know I do. I want to go into a marriage that, um... Feels like my best friend. I want my husband to be my best friend. I want my husband to obviously be my lover. I want him to be my soulmate. Like that that's what any person should want with their marriage. And um first of all the book is cute. Like I love the gold and silver foil. Gorgeous. Um and yeah. Gary Chapman blurbed it. Tony Evans blurbed it. Jenny Allen blurbed this. Um, you know. Jim Daly blurbed this, and these are people that I actually do, like, read their books on, um, relationships and stuff, so I knew this was going to be something that I really wanted to read, um, the book cover is actually gorgeous, but, uh, yeah, so, that is it, you guys, this was a very long, long haul, because I have a lot of books, um, probably we'll have more in February, fingers crossed I don't, because February is a short month, so we'll see, but, um, that is it, this haul if you guys want to see a review on anything specifically let me know i can definitely do that if i don't already have a written review on it um and that is it oh my god that's marbled sorry so random i was looking at the book cover but um yeah that is it for this video so i'll see you guys in the next one